All right, let's move on to the header. We can change it by clicking on it. And then up at the top, change strip background button is what you want to choose. You're going to be able over here on the right to choose color, image, or video. Let's click on image. We can either upload images, which I've already done. As you can see, you can choose a free one from Wix or another service. I'm going to click on this one and then click on the change background button at the bottom. Now let's change the text here. We're going to click on it and change the color to say this purple here on the right. You can even choose the color palette by clicking on change and then choosing something of your own. As you scroll the color palettes, you'll see everything changes to give you a preview of what it looks like. All right, so we have that now. We can click done. Great, and now let's change the fonts. I'm going to choose this one right here. Great. Now it's a bit large, so let's reduce the size and make it bold. And then you can just input your own text. I'm going to put private yoga classes. But as you can see, that text is looking way too long. So let's resize it again by moving the slider. If you scroll down, you can see different effects that Wix has to offer. And you can even change the spacing of the header itself like so. Just wanted to show you that, but we're just going to stick to the default settings like I already have here. Moving on to the subheading. We're going to change that by clicking on it and then edit text. I'm going to type in quiet the mind, inspire the body. All right. Now, once I do that, I'm going to select it all and then change the font. We want something that's going to mimic the same kind of style as our header. So how about Helvetica? Now, it's a bit small, so simply slide the bar to make it larger. And we can even change the color to purple. How about, no, how about something like blue here? Yeah, you can choose anything you like. If you click add, once you've chosen your color, you're going to be able to add it to your color palette. And then I'm just going to see how that looks and go up and click to X out of it. All right, now we're going to click on the add button because we want a call to action below those two text fields that we just changed. So let's click on button and then drag out the style that you like. Now we're going to resize it. You just have to drag it out. And not liking the text, it's too small. So let's change the design by clicking on design and then click customize design. Let's change the text to something a bit larger. Let's say 22. You can drag the bar or just type in 22 like I've done there. And then click font. And again, we're going to choose Helvetica so that everything stays consistent. Okay, great. We're going to click design again just to make sure the changes have been made. If you want to modify the shape of the button, simply click the corners and then change it to something else. There we go. You change the button just like that. Great. You can also change the actual button text. So I'm going to change the text by clicking on the button change text, and then type in register now. I'm going to link it after I finish typing that in. 
add a link, let's say to book online. Click done. Great, it's been added. Good job so far. Remember, no matter what template you choose, you'll be able to customize it just like I've shown you here. Let's move on to lesson three.